Okay. So by this point, the um, video I recently put up, uh, kind of addressing the state of the channel, should have gone live, and you have yet to see any results from that. But then again, it just recently gone live, so what, what do I expect? <laughs> but no, that's not what this video was about. Uh, let's just say this is something I have some strong opinions on. And it's kind of the uh, expansion pack on the Nintendo Switch Online service, which has some pretty bad online connectivity to begin with. Not to mention, you know, some of the lackluster games that have been coming out lately, especially for SNES, which I was going to do a video on, but I decided to scrap. But, honestly, you think taking a small handful of Institute 4 games, a small handful of Sega Genesis games, most, a good hand chunk of them are, and this is going to be my own unpopular opinion, fairly mediocre. You think that justifies doubling the price point? <laughs> like, currently I have the family membership, but seriously Nintendo, you're asking for double the price? Individuals, like, 50 bucks, maybe. Going out of family membership, that's 80. And that's worth what exactly? Okay, compare this to a service like Game Pass, where you have hundreds of games just right there. Just pluck, and there you go. It's on your console. In addition to that, just Ultimate covers everything. You can play online with gold, you get a few free games every month. Access to the uh, wide variety of hundreds of games that are on Game Pass, and you get EA Play right there alongside. It cuts three services for the price. Of... That's three services, roughly for the price of one. Okay, a little bit more than, but still, even that provides way better value than this, Nintendo. Uh, and that doesn't even get to my biggest problem. Oh yeah, they think tacking on Animal Crossing DLC is going to sweeten the deal. And A... I'm pretty sure a good chunk of players have stopped playing Animal Crossing, and if you haven't, maybe this will seem sweet to you. What do I mean? Well, during Animal Crossing's lifespan, they have been producing this content for free. Now they want to lock this behind a paywall? That seems greedy to me, man. And dare I say, PlayStation's Sony's PlayStation Plus provides more value than this. And I pretty frank stop being so much a fan of PlayStation because of their censorship practices. But PlayStation Plus has better value than this. And to, what are you doing, man? Just Okay, now my m me myself as well as many others have been wanting to see Institute 4 games be on the Switch. And I kind of expected a price increase, but this is pushing it. You're giving us very little value for our dollar. But what do I expect for, from a company with pretty poor business practices? I mean, when we really consider controversies before this one, it's kind of to be expected at this point, so.
whatever. I mean, yeah, I may still get it because I have a couple of friends that I want to see play through Paper Mario, and this is the best way to do so, unfortunately. But if you keep up this bullshit, that's going to... And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's going to validate people going out and just plucking emulators and playing that shit for free. So, those who prefer emulators, congratulations, you're getting your validation. My sense on emulators is, I don't like them and I wouldn't condone them unless it's a game you can't play otherwise. But this is starting to make emulators seem justifiable. Oh my God. fucking Christ, Nintendo. Like, I love your company. Love hate relationship, I guess you could say. Even before this point. Love your IPs. I hate your business prior to this. Don't even get me started with the, um, <clears throat> the Smash tournament debacle. That's a whole other can of worms, though. So just the way you often treat your customers and how, how relentlessly, relentlessly you go after ROM sites and you don't even provide a good solution. What can you really expect? <sighs> That's pretty much all I want to say on this. It's just something I had to get off my chest, and it's just something I wanted to keep brief. Alright. After this, I'll be releasing River River City Girls episode 2. Episode two. So, keep an eye out for that. And, Nintendo, seriously, rethink your business practices. If you don't want people to go for the emulator route.